and two days today, which means I am officially six months pregnant. I can officially say that. So that's super exciting and a lot has been kind of changing this week. The baby has been getting a lot bigger, which is resulting in a lot of different like changes in my body and just the way that my body is like handling things. For one, I don't know if you can notice, I can already feel myself doing it, but I'm starting to get really out of breath really easily. So if I like talk a lot or if I'm like up on my feet a lot, I'm like really running out of breath. Like my lungs are running out of space. I don't know if that makes sense or what really is like the thought behind that, but I have just been noticing that I've been running out of breath super easily. This week the baby is just about a foot long from head to toe, which is insane to me. Like if the baby was born, it would be a foot long. So that's just like, I don't know, it's crazy. It's crazy to think that there are babies that are born at 24 weeks like I am now who survive outside the womb and it's just amazing it's a, like a whole I just can't like wrap my head around it I don't know why I'm like thinking about premature babies but for some reason when I'm talking about like the size of the baby it's crazy because there's like babies that are born like I could give birth right now and the baby would have a pretty decent chance of surviving nowadays not that I'm planning on having this baby premature <laughs> definitely but yeah that's just okay I'm being weird so the baby is about a foot long from head to toe and on top of that baby should be just about over a pound at this point which is absolutely crazy and I definitely feel like the baby is getting bigger every single day. I can feel my stomach growing every day. I just feel like this baby's having like a major growth spurt right now. So because the baby is getting so big, I have noticed as of yesterday, yesterday was the first time that I felt it. Lilia was watching my stomach move because now my stomach is, the movement is so big and my stomach is so big that you can literally see the baby move from like across the room. Like my grandma a couple days ago was sitting across the room and I was laying down and she was like, oh, I can see it, I can see it. So you can definitely like see the baby moving now, which is insane. And then last night, me and Lilia were just sitting there and she was poking the baby and playing with the baby. And it was so adorable because she would poke one side and the baby would like squirm to the other side. And as she poked the other side and the baby would like squirm to the other side. So they were like playing a little game and it was so adorable. But there was one point where the baby was sticking a body part out. And <laughs> if you guys have been following me since like the twins specifically. I have this pretty popular video out there of one of the twins, actually it was Caden specifically, who was moving when I was pregnant with the twins and I'm like literally grabbing his elbow and like grabbing his foot, like it sticks out that far. And I don't know if that's normal. I feel like it's probably at least like more prominent with the babies in my body now because of my muscle separation like there's literally almost nothing separating between the baby and like your hand on the outside there's like skin and there's like a uterus and there's like fluid and stuff like that but there's no muscles in between basically what I'm trying to say is that when the baby moves at certain times I can feel the body parts like there are times where I swear I'm feeling a foot even so much to say as like knuckles when the baby gets bigger I remember feeling with like Landon and I'm pretty sure the twins also I could feel like very specific body parts when they like stick out at a certain point in my stomach like not on the sides but mostly just like when it's in the middle and that probably freaks of most people out <laughs> but last night me and Lily were having a lot of fun with it because the baby would poke like a little elbow out and poke this out and poke that out and you can like touch it play with it and it like scoots around and it's just the cutest thing ever and kind of creepy as well one thing that I've noticed this week and a bunch of these symptoms that I'm gonna talk about I'm not sure if they're quite pregnancy related or related to the fact that it's been excruciatingly hot it's gonna be like 108 this whole week and I've been miserable. I have never been this pregnant in summer. I always have given birth in March or June. So very, very, very early summer before it gets like crazy hot or not in summer at all. I'm like postpartum. So I've always been newly pregnant in summer, but I've never actually been like stomach pregnant in summer. And I feel really, really bad. Like I seriously feel for the women who are like super pregnant right now in hot weather because it is miserable. But what I was gonna say was, I have been getting tired easier and I don't know if that's because of the heat. I'm sure that that's definitely related to the heat. On top of that, I have been super, super, super thirsty and I'm like 99% sure that that is related to the heat, but um, I don't know, maybe it's pregnancy related as well. So I've been trying to really drink lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of water throughout the day to the point where it makes me have to pee like 
every five minutes, but <laughs> that's just pregnancy for you. Another thing this week is that my varicose veins, of course, I talk about this in like every single video, like, oh, who knew, who knew Jessica had varicose veins, right? I'm pretty sure the whole world knows now. But this week, they have been getting painful. And on top of that, I have been getting significantly more spider veins. So like there's varicose veins and there's spider veins. You can Google it. I don't know what you're gonna get if you Google it. I don't know how what that's gonna look like. But if you're not sure, I could show you guys. I probably will eventually, but to get my leg up in this position would just be too much. I'm sorry. So the difference between varicose veins and spider veins, um, the varicose veins are like the big veins that like stick out on the back of your leg and the varicose veins are like these teeny teeny tiny veins, but they are like purple, like super purpley and they almost at least mine look like bruises on the back of my leg like they're all like bunched up into like three different parts on my leg and they look like bruises like it literally looks like my leg needs to be amputated that's pretty much what i'm getting at it's that bad and again it has still been only on my left side which is just the weirdest thing in the world however i have been feeling this week and i'm sure it's because the baby's getting bigger and just putting more pressure on my body but i have been noticing that the circulation in both of my legs has been feeling sort of cut off if I'm like on my feet for too long, I just feel like I'm losing circulation in my legs. So I, I don't know if there's something that I can do. If anybody knows if there's like some kind of like exercise they can do that will like increase the circulation, I should definitely do something like that if that exists. So along with my varicose veins, oh, I just have like a long list of complaints to talk about. <laughs> along with my varicose veins is also my muscle separation, like I've talked about forever. Um, but this week I just feel like it's getting so much worse. It's getting very painful almost. And it's not, oh, man, it's so hard to describe. Painful isn't quite the word because it's not painful. Like it's hurting me. It's just super uncomfortable to the point where it hurts. I guess. I don't know. It's so hard to explain, but if I am on my feet for too long, I will have to lay down. Otherwise I feel like my guts are pouring out of me. Like that's how bad it is. I just cannot wait to kind of like get this pregnancy done with. That way I can get these muscles fixed. I am just so ready. I'm so ready to get them fixed and like feel like a normal person again. On a positive note, I have noticed that my hair has been growing really no, I don't know if it's fast, but it's gotten really long since I've gotten pregnant. I will walk around with my shirt up like over my stomach um, very frequently. <laughs> and when my hair is down, I can feel it like on my lower back. This is my 100% natural hair color. I've gotten a lot of comments about that, but I dyed it a couple times. You guys went through that journey with me. It was a very bad decision. It looked terrible. I was blonde at one point and brunette at one point, and finally my hair is completely grown out, 100% natural. It's been a virgin again for, I think like three years now or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, it's been growing a lot and I'm sure that that's partly pregnancy related and partly due to the fact that I'm not damaging it. <laughs> so that's just something that I'm really happy about. It's getting really, really long. So other than that, I can't think of much. My next midwife appointment is next week, next Friday, I believe. And then my life is gonna start getting so hectic again because school is gonna start up, dance gonna, is gonna start up, and all that stuff, our, our crazy like day-to-day -day schedule is gonna start again. So I'm kinda like soaking up these last two weeks, like laying down as much as I can because once school comes around, it's just gonna be go, go, go all the time. So anyway, I think I'm done rambling. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my 24 week belly. This shirt does not fit at all. I would not wear this one in public. I just needed to throw something on for this video. So please bear with me. But I am like feeling massive. Here's with the shirt um, on, if you could count that as being on. <laughs> Here is with the shirt up. I'm just feeling like a whale. Go ahead and measure. Really, there's a knot in this. So. Oh, it looks like I'm measuring at 39 and a half. So I am just absolutely huge. <laughs> All right, I am pretty sure that is it for this video, guys. Make sure you follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat, that's the other one, for more frequent updates about me, the pregnancy, and the family. I will have all those links down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I will talk to you guys next week for week 25. Bye. Well, the most exciting thing that happened this week was that, well, actually, no, I can't even say it was the most exciting, but one of the most exciting, because a lot has been happening. I was laying in bed, I was getting ready to go to bed. I just felt the, a little, like,